Receiving your blue belt in jiu-jitsu is an amazing accomplishment and is a great thing to be able to do in your jiu-jitsu journey. But at some point, you're going to feel this lack of frustration, you're going to feel like you're plateauing, and you're not going to be knowing what to do next. This is often referred to as what is called the blue belt blues and is one of the biggest killers that happens to jiu-jitsu students in their journey. Receiving your blue belt in jiu-jitsu is a significant milestone and you should be very proud of that. It means that you've reached a certain level of proficiency and you know more than the average person who is training jujitsu. So congratulations. But I know at some point, you're probably going to run across this thing called the Blue Belt Blues. I know I experienced it personally, and now I'm a black belt. So in today's video, I want to give you guys some advice I wish I would have received as a new Blue Belt, and maybe what caused me to go into the Blue Belt Blues. So that way you guys can maybe watch out for it and try to avoid it, or at least not experience it for as long as I did. So stick around. We're going to cover that in this video. How's it going, everybody? My name is Chasen Hill. I'm a jiu-jitsu black belt. I've been teaching and training jiu-jitsu now for 13 plus years. So if you guys like all things jiu-jitsu, this is probably a pretty good channel for you guys to check out. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below. Also, hit that bell icon so that way you never miss the latest video whenever it comes out. I was promoted to blue belt after two years of training jiu-jitsu, so it took me two years to go from white to blue belt. A lot of times I was 18 years old and I was goofing around and taking breaks throughout my journey but once i finally got my blue belt the blue belt blues hit me probably around about seven or eight months into training jujitsu now for some people because now i coach students all the time i've seen the blue belt blues occur at different moments in the jujitsu but regardless it's usually uniformly caused because one of these three things happens Often, it's multiple of these three things is what calls the blue belt blues, but sometimes it happens earlier in their career, sometimes it's in the middle of the blue belt, and sometimes it's at the end of the blue belt. It all depends on where they're at and where it hits them the hardest. So the first one is this idea that they cannot take on the responsibility or the expectation that's now been bestowed on them. When you get a blue belt, you feel like that you have this new sense of knowledge and you have all this information and you should be able to perform at this level when in reality you just stuck around long enough and learned the techniques a little bit better than other people and then your instructor probably gave you a blue belt and now you're like I don't know what to do so living up to those expectations and responsibilities a lot of times can feel daunting or you could feel discouraged from it which could cause you to go into the slump it makes you feel like you're depressed you don't know what to do I don't really earn this for whatever reason a lot of times this is why I'm a big fan of schools having Having some kind of an exam or a way that they determine for the blue belt I think it helps students cure that blue belt blues problem because now they feel like that they have earned their blue belt versus just being handed a blue belt for whatever reason so having some kind of metric to determine what they get their blue belt for I think helps and may push that blue belt blues back just a little bit longer. The next one is the level of competition, and it could be actually in a tournament-based competition, or it could even just be competition in the gym. Whenever you are a white belt and you are newer, especially if you are competing a lot in tournaments, you're probably doing fairly well. You are probably were tapping out a lot of other people because they were newer to jiu-jitsu and you had been training longer. So you kind of saw the power of having more knowledge and information. But when you get your blue belt, all of a sudden, the roles are reversed. Now you're going against people who are fairly skilled. You could even be going against people who are almost even purple belts. So they have a lot more knowledge and they might have a lot more skill than you. So now you're the low man on the totem pole and that can feel very discouraging. It's the same thing inside of the gym as well too. You might feel like that these other blue belts are no longer taking it easy on you or the upper belts are no longer taking it easy on you and they're truly showing you how little you know. I know personally, that was a big one for me. The upper belts were all nice to me as a white belt, but then all of a sudden, once I got my blue belt, they started turning it up a little bit. And I don't think that that's a bad thing. I just think I had the wrong perspective or I had the wrong idea about that. I thought that maybe once I got my blue belt, all of the chaos would change and something magic would happen. When in reality, it's just an acknowledgement of what you've already accomplished. Another thing that will cause the blue belt blues, and this is what happens kind of more mid blue belt to late blue belt, is you feel like a plateau starts to occur. 
there's a lot of rapid growth between white to blue belt because you didn't know anything when you walked in the door and now you've accumulated all this knowledge all of a sudden and you have a little bit of skill so you know that you could just destroy yourself the first day walking in but at blue belt the changes are very small they're very incremental usually at blue belt what i see is people will spike really high up in the beginning and then all of a sudden they crash and they go all the way down and then they spike and then they go down so it's this kind of constant roller coaster battle over your jiu-jitsu career as blue belt it starts to become a little bit more level later on in your journey but riding those spikes can seem very difficult and it can feel like that you're not progressing the way that you want so what advice would I give myself as a brand new blue belt going back in time? It would be actually have some kind of goal or focus that you're trying to work on. A lot of times this big gap between blue and purple, you feel like there are so many things to work on that you become the master of trying to fix everything as opposed to getting really good at fixing one thing in the beginning. Now, I want to be clear, you're not going to just work on that one thing the whole blue belt career, but you need to spend time maybe focusing on spending two or three weeks just escaping bottom position and then spending two or three weeks on just takedowns and then spending two or three weeks on a certain submission so you have to spend time developing something and you need to be able to pick a goal of whatever that is personally i think there's a way to be able to do that smartly and intelligently that i teach my students online how to but regardless having some kind of goal that's met with a reasonable expectation will be very helpful and that kind of prevents you from getting into the blue belt blues or can also help you maybe pull yourself out if you now have a new focus because you can actually see yourself starting to progress more and more let me know down in the comments below have you ever been in the blue belt blues if you were how long were you in it for what did you do to kind of get out of it that way maybe what you give advice on someone else can benefit from if you're struggling to drill techniques the way that you want them more you're needing more mat time but you don't have enough partners to do that i would highly consider you guys using the grapple smarty 2.0 it's one of the best training dummies that you guys can have out there i recently just did a full product review so if you guys want more information about it make sure you check it out they do hook you guys up. If you use my discount code, you guys do receive a discount on your order. So if you're needing to make improvements in your jiu-jitsu or try out other cool moves, make sure you guys check out the Smarty 2.0. One of the main things that helped me get out of the blue belt blues was having enough guidance and assistance in my journey. A lot of times I would be feeling frustrating or struggles and I could sense that my other training partners were either picking up on it or my coach was picking up on it and then they would ask me and of course I would usually say, oh, no problem, don't worry about it, it's not that big of a deal. But they just kept kind of poking and then once I finally opened up to them and they were able to alleviate my fears or alleviate and tell me that this was normal, that I was experiencing it, that everyone goes through it and then give me some tips and tricks to work on because they had just sparred with me really helped me in my journey. So you guys need to be able to find somebody like a coach or seek guidance from an upper belt that can help you and make you feel like it's okay that you're experiencing it and can maybe give you some insight on why it's happening to you specifically. One of the last things is making sure that you're staying committed to your training time. I know often life is going to get in the way and to do jujitsu for a long time is a big commitment and a long hobby to commit to, but making sure that you stay on a regular training schedule is absolutely crucial. If you're starting to take extended amounts of time off, not just a day or two or even a week for a long vacation, but you're taking off like months at a time and you're breaking for a month and you're coming back for a month and you're breaking for a month and you kind of stay on that pattern, that's a recipe to experience the blues for sure or even lead you to quitting. Usually the blues is why people quit jujitsu. So making sure that you have a regular training schedule and you set like a regular training day is super important to keep you on task. And one of the last ideas I can give you guys is please don't compare yourself to others. Comparing yourself to others is one of the worst things that you can do, especially when you're feeling down about your own journey. Looking at other people and wishing you were them doesn't do anything but just make you feel even worse. For some people, it might motivate them and inspire them to want to reach those levels that that person's doing. But usually if you're in a blues style of state, you don't want to do that. You want to fix the problem. You want to talk to somebody and you want to be able to seek actual tangible guidance about what you need to be working on. I don't like just making general recommendations about what you should work on as a blues 
blue belt because a lot of times that doesn't actually fix the problem. You need to figure out what you should be training and why that is. Usually you became into the blues because you were just learning a million different things and you had no training focus. So figuring out what you should be training and why that is and taking more ownership actually will prevent you from becoming the blue belt blues maybe a little bit sooner. So if you are one of these blue belts who are struggling and needing some more help and guidance, I do have an online coaching program where I actually teach you how to develop a training system. We have weekly acceleration calls that we can figure out what you need to be doing together. And all of these tangibles put together really will help you stay on the mat for longer. I think it's the perfect recipe to get people out of blue belt blues. They can bounce ideas off one another and actually work with someone who has walked that path. There are other students in the program too, so you're learning from their experiences all the time. So if that's something that you're interested in and you think you'd benefit from it, I only accept students via application. So make sure you fill that out down below. If you guys are into free resources, make sure you grab my free acceleration guide and it's a good starting place for you guys to maybe knock yourself out of that blue belt blues. Thank you guys for making it to the end of another video and until next time, I'll see you later.